Beyond its well-known cowboy culture and oil-rich landscapes, Texas holds a treasure trove of hidden secrets waiting to be discovered. From rolling hills to desert expanses, coastal plains, and breathtaking canyons, the state boasts diverse landscapes and natural wonders. Recently, scientists revealed that Texas is not what we're being told. Join us as we delve into the scientific revelations that suggest Texas has more to reveal than meets the eye. The first Texans, Clovis Points, and pre-Clovis discoveries. Under the vast plains and rugged landscapes of present-day Texas lie clues to the early inhabitants of America. These ancient Texans left behind a lasting legacy etched in stone through artifacts like pre-Clovis tools and Clovis points. Named after Clovis, New Mexico, where they were first discovered in the 1930s, Clovis points are unique spearheads associated with an ancient culture. Texas boasts its own collection of these archaeological treasures, indicating the presence of early peoples in the region around 13,000 years ago. These Clovis points, with their specialized design allowing them to be securely attached to spear shafts, represent more than just basic tools. They showcase prehistoric engineering marvels. The discovery of these artifacts not only marked a significant advancement in hunting technology, but also highlighted the ingenuity and adaptability of Texas's earliest settlers. While debates about early American inhabitants have often centered around Clovis points, recent findings in Texas are pushing back the timeline. Evidence of human activity dating back over 13,000 years has been uncovered at sites like the Galt site in central Texas, revealing a diverse array of artifacts predating the Clovis culture. This discovery has sparked scientific discourse about the arrival of the earliest Americans, suggesting that Texas may have been a hub of human activity much earlier than previously thought. The Texas Killing Fields Nestled within the expansive Texan countryside lies a chilling enigma that has puzzled investigators and captured the public's imagination for years. Brace yourself for a journey into the heart of darkness as we delve into the notorious Texas killing fields, an unsettling testament to unanswered questions and shattered lives. In this desolate stretch of marshland between Houston and Galveston, just off Interstate 45, a haunting pattern has emerged. Young women have inexplicably vanished, leaving behind a trail of mystery and despair. Since the 1970s, over 30 bodies, predominantly female, have been unearthed in this bleak terrain. Yet, the majority of these cases remain unresolved, leaving families grappling with agonizing uncertainty. More troubling still is the suspicion that multiple serial killers may have operated in tandem, preying on unsuspecting victims. Most victims, aged between 12 and 25, share eerily similar physical attributes, such as hairstyles and colors, it seems as though they were being targeted based on their similarities with former victims. These perplexing crimes have raised serious doubts about the efficacy of law enforcement investigations and the legal system's ability to untangle the web of violence. How could a location so close to civilization become a breeding ground for malevolence, leaving behind a trail of broken lives and unanswered questions? Some have described the fields as a perfect place to commit murder and evade detection. With Amy Kanan Mann, the director of the Texas Killings Fields movie, remarking on the chilling isolation of the area. Alabates Flint Quarries. The Alabates Flint Quarries stand as a testament to ancient ingenuity, nestled in the rugged terrain of the Texas Panhandle. For over 13,000 years, these quarries have been churning out top quality flint, a vital resource for the prehistoric communities of Texas. This special type of flint, prized for its durability and ease of shaping, played a pivotal role in crafting tools and weapons essential for daily life. From knives to spear points and scrapers, Alabate's flint enabled tasks ranging from woodworking to hunting, including skinning and meat processing. But the significance of the Alabate's flint quarries goes beyond mere utility. They were vital hubs of activity, fostering trade and exchange among prehistoric cultures. 
Thanks to its distinctive color and exceptional quality, Alabate's flint became a sought-after commodity, leading to a thriving trade network that spanned North America. Artifacts made from Alabate's flint have been discovered far and wide, revealing the extent of this ancient trading system. These trade routes were not just about goods, they facilitated the sharing of ideas, cultures, and technology, shaping a common heritage across distant communities. Today, the Alabate's flint quarries are preserved as a national monument, safeguarding this historic site of innovation and industry. They serve as a poignant reminder of the resourcefulness and creativity of Texas's earliest inhabitants, who skillfully harnessed the natural bounty of the land to forge a way of life that endured for millennia. The Aurora UFO Incident In addition to murder mysteries, Texas history is rich with fascinating topics, one of which stands out as truly extraordinary. Let's journey back to April 19, 1897, a day etched in Aurora, Texas's memory. Whether or not you believe in aliens, what unfolded on this day defies any earthly explanation. The residents of Aurora were in for a surprise visit on April 17, 1897, when they witnessed what seemed to be an alien craft streaking across the sky. This wasn't your typical flying object. It was unearthly. According to local lore passed down through generations, at around 6 a.m., a UFO collided with a windmill on Judge J.S. Proctor's farm, causing it to crash. An Army Signal Service officer named T.J. Weems described the pilot as not of this world. Some speculated the craft hailed from Mars. Unfortunately, the pilot was deceased on impact, leaving his identity a mystery. Reports suggest the extraterrestrial visitor was laid to rest in a local cemetery with Christian rites, though the tombstone has long since vanished. Rumors persist that the wreckage was dumped into a nearby well. Despite efforts to debunk the incident, skepticism remains. Could this be a genuine encounter kept under wraps for over a century? Why has history overlooked evidence of extraterrestrial life? This event solidified the region's reputation for mystery and remains one of Texas's most intriguing stories. La Belle Shipwreck The shipwreck La Belle serves as a vivid reminder of France's ambitious endeavors in the 17th century, resting beneath the murky waters of Matagorda Bay. Back in 1686, during a failed French attempt to establish a colony in the Gulf of Mexico, Labal met its tragic fate. As part of an expedition led by explorer Robert de La Salle, the ship's sinking marked a pivotal moment in Texas's colonial history, offering a tangible connection to the past. Labal wasn't just a vessel. It symbolized France's aspirations to expand its influence and challenge Spanish dominance in the New World. Tasked with finding the mouth of the Mississippi River from the Gulf of Mexico, Labal aimed to secure a foothold for France. However, navigational errors led them astray, far from their intended destination on the Texas coast. The sinking of Labal dealt a severe blow to La Salle's ambitions, thwarting the French venture in Texas. Centuries later, the discovery of the wreck provided new insights into French colonial efforts in the Americas. Preserved in the mud of Matagorda Bay, the remnants of Labale yielded a treasure trove of artifacts, including muskets, cannons, and personal items, offering glimpses into 17th century life and the challenges faced by colonial expeditions. The shipwreck of Labal serves as a poignant reminder of the complexities of colonial history, highlighting the trials of exploration, colonization, and the clash of empires. For Texas, it is more than a French tale. It is an integral part of its rich historical tapestry, showcasing the breadth of its past. The West Texas Mystery Lights For years, the West Texas Mystery Lights have fascinated sky watchers, adding a touch of magic to the already captivating landscapes of West Texas's Presidio and Marfa. Also known as the Marfa Lights or Marfa Ghost Lights, these mysterious phenomena have been spotted east of Marfa, Texas, around Mitchell Flat and U.S. Route 67. In the remote village, these strange lights perform an eerie dance beneath the vast night sky. Appearing as gliding wisps or flickering spheres on the distant horizon, they defy explanation. Both locals and visitors have been left amazed by these elegant, ethereal apparitions. Are they messages from distant galaxies, celestial visitors, or perhaps even a portal to another reality? Numerous theories abound, 
each offering a captivating tale of extraterrestrial contact, interdimensional portals, atmospheric phenomena, natural reflections, or optical illusions. Yet the mysteries of this phenomenon remain unsolved. People from around the world, including scientists, skeptics, and adventurous travelers, flock to the Marfa and Presidio regions, armed with cameras and binoculars, hoping to witness these elusive lights and contribute to the ongoing exploration. The Marfa lights challenge our understanding, reminding us that the cosmos still holds miracles beyond our grasp. We can only marvel at their presence and await the day when their truth is revealed. Palo Duro Canyon. Palo Duro Canyon, often called the Grand Canyon of Texas, holds within its rugged depths a wealth of history spanning over 12,000 years. It's not just a stunning natural wonder, it's also a time capsule revealing the lives of ancient peoples who once thrived here. Through archaeological excavations, we've uncovered artifacts from Apache and Comanche settlements, as well as Clovis points used by early North Americans. These findings tell us that Palo Duro Canyon was more than just a scenic landscape. It was a vital hub for hunting, gathering, and survival for many generations. The canyon provided not only food, but also materials for clothing, shelter, and tools, showcasing its importance in sustaining ancient communities. Evidence like tippy rings and fire pits scattered across the area paints a picture of nomadic tribes like the Apache and Comanche making use of the land. Petroglyphs and pictographs offer further insights into their way of life, beliefs, and deep connection to the canyon. Today, Palo Duro Canyon State Park preserves this remarkable heritage, inviting visitors to explore its history through trails and guided tours. It's like stepping back in time, experiencing firsthand the rich tapestry of human history etched into the canyon's walls. Thanks to ongoing research and conservation efforts, the canyon remains a living museum, bridging the past with the present for all who visit and call Texas home. Caddo Mounds In the lush landscapes of East Texas, the Caddo Mounds rise gently from the earth, revealing the remarkable achievements of a once thriving civilization. Built over a millennium ago by the Caddoan peoples, these earthworks are more than just impressive structures. They are sacred monuments that tell the story of a sophisticated society. The Caddoans were known for their intelligence, organization, and complex trading networks, which extended far beyond their homeland. These mounds with their ornate ceremonial centers served as the heart of Caddoan communities, hosting ceremonies and gatherings that strengthened social bonds and spiritual connections. Constructing these mounds was no small feat. It required the laborious transport of hundreds of tons of earth, all without the aid of modern technology. Each mound had a distinct purpose, serving as a temple, cemetery, or platform for elite residences. The Great Mound, the grandest of them all, stands as a testament to the Caddoans' architectural prowess and deep connection to the land. But these mounds were not isolated wonders. They were part of a vast network that linked the Caddoans to other native societies. Artifacts found at the sites highlight the significance of the Caddoans as a central hub of prehistoric North American culture and trade. Through archaeological digs, we uncover glimpses of their daily lives, religious beliefs, and social structures, revealing a civilization deeply intertwined with nature and guided by a unique cosmology. Today, the Caddo Mounds serve as silent reminders of a bygone era. Efforts to preserve and study these ruins aim to honor the legacy of the Caddoans and ensure that their extraordinary culture is remembered. The Texas Cattle Mutilations For a long time, Texas has been known for its vast open spaces, cowboys, and of course, cattle. But amidst this iconic Texan imagery lies a puzzling and eerie phenomenon that has left both scientists and ranchers scratching their heads. Cattle mutilations. Imagine ranchers waking up to find their animals dead, with missing body parts and strange, precise cuts that look like a surgeon did them. It's a disturbing scene that nobody can quite make sense of. Typically, these mutilations involve the surgical removal of organs, such as the tongue, eyes, genitalia, and rectum. The cuts are clean and precise, indicating a level of skill far beyond that of ordinary predators. 
Adding to the mystery is the fact that there's often no blood to be found at the scene. Sometimes, there are other bizarre symptoms observed after these mutilations, like predators avoiding the carcass or animals with injuries that seem like they fell from great heights. It's all quite strange and doesn't seem to fit together. As for explanations, there are plenty of theories floating around. Some believe it's secret government tests or even alien activity. Others think it's a way to study how radiation or pollution affects cattle. Then, some suggest a more sinister motive, like a satanic cult performing sacrificial rituals. Despite numerous investigations by scientists and law enforcement, we're still no closer to finding definitive answers to this eerie mystery. Fort St. Louis and Moore Cave. Texas's history is a tapestry woven with tales of colonization, resilience, and cultural blending. Within this vibrant past, the ruins of Fort St. Louis and the Moore Cave stand as vivid reminders, each offering a unique glimpse into the complexity of pre-Texan life. Built in 1685 by the daring French explorer La Salle, Fort St. Louis symbolized France's bold endeavor to stake a claim in a territory dominated by the Spanish. Located near present-day Victoria, Texas, the fort was a pivotal part of La Salle's grand vision to establish a French presence in the New World. Yet, the colony's demise was inevitable, succumbing to disease, isolation, and strained relations with local indigenous tribes. The 1990s archaeological discovery of Fort St. Louis revealed significant insights into this ill-fated expedition, revealing artifacts like musket balls, ceramics, and trade goods. These findings shed light on the struggles, interactions, and daily lives of the colony's inhabitants, serving as a poignant reminder of France's brief but impactful occupation of Texas. In stark contrast to the colonial ambitions embodied by Fort St. Louis, the Moore Cave in the Lower Pecos region offers a window into the spiritual and ceremonial practices of native Texans. Used as a burial site for millennia, the cave contains a wealth of grave goods, including tools, adornments, and offerings, alongside human remains. The rituals observed in the mortuary cave unveil the spiritual beliefs and practices of ancient Texan communities, showcasing a profound reverence for the departed. Through the preservation and study of Fort St. Louis and the Moore Cave, we gain deeper insights into the diverse historical facets that have shaped Texas. From the aspirations of European settlers to the sacred customs of indigenous peoples, these sites encapsulate a rich narrative of land claims, spirituality, and resilience. Their preservation not only honors the past, but also imparts valuable lessons and legacies that resonate in the present day. Rock Art of the Lower Pecos In the rugged landscape of the Lower Pecos region of Texas, along the banks of the Rio Grande River, lies one of North America's most remarkable prehistoric treasures, a vast gallery of rock art. These ancient murals, carefully painted or chiseled into the walls of shelters and limestone cliffs, offer more than just visual splendor. They tell vivid stories of the people who thrived here over 4,000 years ago. The rock art of the Lower Picos is a captivating glimpse into the spiritual and everyday lives of its creators. Spanning a wide array of subjects, from intricate abstract designs to depictions of celestial events, human figures, and animals, these paintings likely represent hunting scenes, shamanic experiences, and important rituals. They offer invaluable insights into the customs and beliefs of ancient societies. Crafted using various techniques, such as etching directly onto the rock surface and painting with mineral pigments, the sophistication of these artworks underscores their significance to the individuals who made them. For these artists, rock art served as a means of expression, communication, and spiritual communion. Recognized today as a vital cultural asset, 
the preservation of Lower Picos rock art is imperative, as environmental exposure and human activities threaten its longevity. Continued research, documentation, and conservation efforts are essential to safeguarding these ancient masterpieces. Gaut Site The Gaut Site, nestled in the heart of central Texas, opens a fascinating window into the lives of ancient Texans. With an impressive 13,000 years of archaeological evidence, this site reveals insights into a time before written history, shedding light on the pre-Clovis peoples who first inhabited the area. The discovery of stone tools and artifacts predating the famous Clovis points spark at recognition of the site's importance. As excavations progressed, archaeologists Uniarthed over two million artifacts, offering a comprehensive record of human activity spanning millennia. Among these finds are ornamental pieces like stone, shell, bone beads, and pendants, as well as essential tools like projectile points and blades. These artifacts provide valuable clues about the daily lives of the region's ancient inhabitants. The variety and sophistication of the tools suggest a society adept at hunting, gathering, and food processing, finely attuned to its environment. Moreover, the presence of intricate objects hints at a socially organized community with artistic and potentially spiritual inclinations. The site's layout, with distinct areas for cooking, toolmaking, and living, reflects a structured society familiar with the advantages of functional zoning. Such an organization implies a settled community rather than a nomadic group of hunter-gatherers. Through the lens of the Galt site, we gain a deeper understanding of the rich and complex history of prehistoric Texans. The Texas Ghost Towns The abandoned towns scattered across Texas offer fascinating glimpses into the state's colorful history. Each ghost town, whether it's Indianola along the Gulf Coast or Terlingua in the vast West Texas desert, has its own unique story to tell. Take Terlingua, for example, once a bustling mining town now reclaimed by nature, where weathered buildings and crumbling adobe fragments stand as silent witnesses to its former glory. Indianola, on the other hand, was once a thriving harbor, until hurricanes reduced it to mere historical remnants. Then there's Thurber, a once booming coal mining town in central Texas, boasting a diverse population and vibrant culture, now eerily deserted, with its population of nearly 10,000 long gone. Exploring these ghost towns offers a chance to step back in time and uncover the lives of the people who once inhabited them. Whether it's wandering through their dilapidated buildings or learning about their fascinating histories, a journey through Texas is enriched by these mysterious and adventurous discoveries. The Missions of San Antonio The missions of San Antonio stand as enduring symbols of the fascinating blend of cultures that shaped the region during the Spanish colonial era. Back in the 18th century, these missions weren't just religious centers. They were bustling communities focused on agriculture, education, and building Spanish influence in the New World while spreading Christianity among the native population. Though most famous for the 1836 conflict that symbolizes Texan independence, the mission's history stretches back much further. Concepcion, San Jose, San Juan Espada, and the Alamo were hubs where Spanish friars, native converts, and settlers worked and lived together, creating a network of spiritual strongholds. These missions were like self-sufficient villages with vast lands for farming and raising livestock, producing goods like cotton, corn, and beans. The indigenous people taught European farming and construction techniques by the friars, built the remarkable stone structures that still stand today. These missions weren't just places of worship. They were melting pots of Spanish and indigenous customs, essential for the survival and prosperity of those who lived there. Designated as UNESCO World Heritage Sites, the San Antonio missions offer a window into the past, 
showcasing the agricultural and architectural advancements of the time and telling the stories of the diverse people who called them home. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. All right, folks, hold on to your cowboy hats because we've got a Texas-sized revelation headed your way. Think you know everything about the Lone Star State? Think again. Beyond the stereotypes of cowboys and oil rigs lies a land teeming with surprises. You see, many people mistake Texas for a simple, flat plain on the map. But let me tell you, the truth is far more colorful than that. Recently, scientists revealed that Texas is not what we're being told. And one sign is the mysterious red light surrounding the map of Texas. Have you ever noticed it? Some say it's just an artist flexing their talents, but could it be the source of Texas's strangeness? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and let's unravel the enigma together. Who knows what other secrets Texas is hiding beneath its surface? The USS Westfield and the Bison Drive Site. The stories of the USS Westfield and the Bison Drive Site offer a fascinating glimpse into Texas's rich history of struggle and resilience. Despite being separated by decades, both locations shed light on the challenges faced by those who lived and fought in Texas. The USS Westfield played a crucial role during the American Civil War, serving as a key player in the blockade of the Confederate coast. However, its fate took a dramatic turn when it ran aground in Galveston Bay in 1863 and was deliberately destroyed to prevent capture by Confederate forces. Today, the excavation of the Westfield's wreckage reveals not only relics of naval warfare, but also poignant reminders of the human toll of war, including personal belongings and weaponry used in battle. The Bison Drive site in Leakey provides a stark contrast, showcasing the ingenuity of prehistoric Texans in their struggle for survival. Here, evidence of sophisticated hunting techniques used by Native Americans to hunt bison is on display. By strategically driving these massive animals into natural traps, hunters could efficiently gather resources for their communities. This site offers valuable insights into the social organization, environmental knowledge, and survival skills of early Texans. Together, the USS Westfield and the Bison Drive site serve as powerful reminders of human resilience in the face of adversity. Whether through strategic naval engagements or communal hunting practices, these sites highlight the tenacity, resourcefulness, and innovation of those who called Texas home. Discovery of a large eel on the Texas shore. The recent sighting of a massive eel off the coast of Texas has been causing quite a stir on the internet, and this has helped as scientists reveal that Texas is not what we're being told. It was Jace Tunnel from the University of Texas Marine Science Institute on Mustang Island who made this intriguing discovery. According to Tunnel, the eel he spotted was estimated to be around four feet long, making it one of the largest eels ever seen. He even shared a video of the eel on Facebook, showcasing its impressive size for everyone to see. What's even more fascinating is that this eel belongs to the American eel species, the only freshwater eel found in North America. Despite typically inhabiting rivers and estuaries, the population of American eels has been rapidly declining. The tunnel also made another remarkable find, a female eel capable of laying up to four million eggs, shedding light on the eel's reproductive capabilities. Interestingly, this sighting comes after a similar-looking snapper eel was discovered on the shores of Galveston Bay, leaving bystanders startled by its eerie appearance. San Felipe de Austin Since Texan independence took root in San Felipe de Austin, this city holds immense significance in the state's history. Founded in 1823 by the renowned Texan Stephen Austin, San Felipe de Austin played a pivotal role as the central administrative hub for Anglo-American colonization efforts in Texas, as per an agreement with the Mexican government. More than just a settlement, San Felipe de Austin was where the seeds of Texan identity and freedom were sown. Nestled on the edge of the Brazos River, 
it laid the groundwork for Austin's colony, the first and most prosperous impresario grant. The promise of land and opportunity attracted settlers from the United States, who, known as Texians, braved the challenges of frontier life to establish a thriving society with a sophisticated social, political, and economic structure. Beyond being a bustling community, San Felipe de Austin also served as a focal point for political activism and opposition to Mexican rule. It became a crucial hub for activities leading up to the Texas Revolution, where settlers voiced their grievances and aspirations for self-governance through conventions and gatherings. From this very location, Texans coordinated their resistance, culminating in the historic 1836 Declaration of Texas Independence. Today, the site of San Felipe de Austin stands as a testament to the resilience of those early pioneers. Preserved as a historic site, it offers visitors a glimpse into the lives of the Texans who fought for their independence through artifacts, exhibitions, and remnants of the original town plan. This pivotal moment in Texas history is vividly chronicled, ensuring that the legacy of San Felipe de Austin lives on for generations to come. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.